David Combs would see her every day from the window of his shop, the T-shirt men. They would walk, frequently walk the dogs in front of the shop and, you know, most of the times when I see dogs walking out here, I poke my head out. He says the woman he met worked at FedEx by day. By night, she lived in a tent with her partner here in People's Park, along with their two dogs, Princess and Valentine. I would see her playing with them in the field all the time, ask her questions about, you know, you know, how's her job, how's her day going, how's her situation, you know, living in the park going. Then one day, David says the woman stopped walking by his shop. I noticed, you know, that I didn't see her. He heard she had committed suicide, and not long after, a volunteer working in the park told David that the woman's partner had to surrender the dogs. She mentioned that she just saw uh, a man have to relinquish his ownership of the dogs in order to get into one of the shelters. And I asked if it was uh, the, the two dogs that I suspected. Most of the shelters in Tacoma do not accept dogs. So Princess and Valentine were headed for the Tacoma Humane Society. Homeless advocates say the case speaks to a larger problem. Oh, there's a huge gap. A lack of shelter beds, says Maureen Howard, a volunteer with the Coalition to End Homelessness, but also a lack of the right kinds of shelter beds. So you might have somebody who has a pet and maybe the shelter doesn't have a way to accommodate that pet. David wound up tracking Princess and Valentine down at the Humane Society. The dogs were turned over to him. Now they're getting vaccinated and trained at Metropolitan Dog Daycare and Boarding. People, you know, have been giving me a lot of praise. And in reality, it literally took me only a couple hours of my time and, and, and some action to help these dogs out. Now, David says he's already received a lot of interest from people who want to adopt the dogs. He doesn't think he'll have any trouble there. He did say he hopes those same people reach out to the Tacoma Humane Society because they are near capacity. I did also reach out to the Humane Society, and they told me that Princess and Valentine were the only dogs who were surrendered as People Park, People's Park was being cleared out. Reporting live in Tacoma, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.